Good morning. It's Monday and the lighting's horrible. It is um, like snowing, sleet, rain here in Reno. So basically swimwear season's on halt. But this weekend is supposed to hike back up to 80 degrees and it's supposed to be beautiful. Um, besides that, I sell swimwear year round. So I have um, people all over the world, literally, um, people, where was it, the, the Middle East, uh, in Kuwait, some military, um, in Europe, people traveling, going to uh, Paris, or going on a cruise, um, people in Hawaii, people in Mexico, um, people in Arizona, people still in California, Southern California, like I have people everywhere. So. I sell swimwear year round, although it does get slower for me this time of year. Um, I, this is the time of year I take time out to style new designs and come up with new ideas and patterns and kind of push out a few things that I'm unsure about, especially because next summer things can change style wise, but we have to come out, um, I as a designer, I say we, but I, as a designer, have to come out with the design so they can go into production before next summer, right? So to do that, I have to pre-meditate what is going to be popular, colors, style, all of that. Um, being that it is fall, <laughs> turning into fall, I did just launch this um, sunflower bikini. And I can't tell you how long it's been on any given day or a bikini post that I have ever gotten this many likes, comments, and messages and orders for a bikini. So it's so awesome to see my followers um, love a design and I'm like, holy shit, there it is, that's it. So I can totally pump out some more. Um, this is the design. Mm -hmm. So it has a ruffle over a triangle top and it also has a, it has little pads in it. It has a spot for pads for you to put in there. It is, has a really long tie, which I thought was super cute, but you can also trim it and then tie knots at the end if you really want to. Um, it's higher waisted, higher cut, and then it's also a thong. So because she doesn't have, um, a butt crack it can't go inside her butt crack but it is very cheeky and higher waisted like I said so the back here is not adjustable there um, I mean technically I could add a clip here um, and you can make it smaller or tighter but the fact that um, the straps have the ruffles there I didn't put sliders on the, that part so you can adjust the straps um, but you can adjust the tightness to move your chest together right here by um, the crossover in these straps right here. So that one, you know, I, I put out there and I got so many likes on that one. So I'm super excited that that's what you girls like and I would also like to know is it the style or is it the print is it the cut is it absolutely everything what is it that you liked about that particular suit um, but I also was uh, mentioning how it takes time and premeditation to think about new styles and designs for next summer 2020 and um, so I I ask for your guys' opinions. Um, I am a local, small, small local business. So um, I don't have much money, research, or, you know, product development money to um, go out and research this stuff, especially because we live in such a small city. So getting my customers' feedback is number one because that's who is supporting me and I'm supporting you with cute, amazing suits. Um, also at a great deal. So I have decided to manufacture um, this coming up this year. Um, and so I submit my designs. I still design them and I still configure them. 
and then I have the manufactured. So there's specific quantities that I can order in, and um, they call it a minimum order quantity in MLQ, and it totally depends on my budget. <laughs> I can get a really small minimum order quantity, um, like let's just say 10 pieces, but it's gonna cost me more because it costs them more to um, make the design when they're not making a lot of them. Plus they wanna make money too. So for that sake, they give you a discount the more you order. So for me, I need to know what you ladies like because in return, then I know what to order, like this sunflower suit. Um, but I am still taking custom orders. So I still buy my fabric. I still cut the design. I still hand sew my items and custom orders are gonna be going up in price. They used to be $80, which was a steal of a deal, but I would still get people that would um, not, it was not in their budget, let's just say. And it hurts because I uh, spend a lot of time and especially my custom fabric that I customize, it's about 40 bucks a yard. And although suits are not about a yard of fabric, I. Only, you can only order in a yard, especially when you customize fabric like that. You also get a discount when you order in bulk. So if I ordered five yards of that fabric, I would get a discount, which in return I can make more suits and charge a little bit less. But the thing is, is when you customize a suit, it is custom tailored to you, to your size, to your color, to everything, the style. It is not mass produced. So for me, that is 100% one-on-one. You and I are designing this suit and you have to pay for that. You have to value my opinion, value my time. And I'm a designer at heart and I absolutely love it, but you have to pay for my time and my designs. And so prices are going up and that's just the bottom line. But with that being said, that's why I decided to start manufacturing some suits because it gives you a little bit more um, of a leeway between a really cheap sell item and then um, your Zaffle, your, I don't know, other places, um, um, cup sheet, that's the other one, um, from those places to my prices, 60 bucks. And then you can get a higher priced one, 100 bucks, 150 bucks if you want to customize one. Um, I also came out with the kids line, which is the matching kids and dad and baby boy and mom. So it's four, four um, matching sets that you could, not matching sets, four suits that can be matching in a set. Uh, that I came out with and those are specific designs. So those ones technically so I could customize them too You're just gonna be paying a higher price for them where um, the manufactured ones are a little bit cheaper um, And those are specific designs for the cheaper ones obviously because when I have to Make the fabric design the fabric. I have to upload like a render. I have to use Photoshop. I have to make a step repeat. I have to upload it into my design software. And then I have to make sure the repeat design is not, doesn't have flaws. Once I do that, then they actually review it. And multiple times they will email me if my, um, my design is messed up. And when they email me, I have to revise it again. Once I do that, um, they can obviously put it towards production and they will print my fabric. Um, they're out of North Carolina. Those are my eco, eco-friendly fabric, um, eco-friendly dyes, water-based dyes, um, all in this fabric. And that is my amazing fabric, um, which I not advertising the eco-friendly anymore because I'm manufacturing. So once it's uploaded, they obviously produce it, but because it's out of North Carolina, it takes quite a while. Um, for it to be printed. This fabric takes about two weeks to make. They print it, um, make sure everything's correct, and then they ship it. So with that being said, that's why my custom order process takes a little bit longer than um, normal, especially if I have the fabric in stock. And if you want a suit custom ordered, you can always ask what I have in stock because that is the best option, and then you'll get your suit way faster. So. I just wanted to do a little PSA and thank you ladies and please let me know what you think about the new designs. 
um, or about any design on my Instagram and you can comment or send me the picture, DM me. Um, much appreciated. Thank you.